guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I've got a roof leak over at my four unit apartment complex. Uh, it's been leaking a little bit for a while, ever since we got it. And I have not had the time to fix it yet, but it is getting worse. Um, I sent the drone up there to get some footage to see if I could tell what might be the problem ahead of time. And uh, I think I know what the issue is, so we are going to try and fix that today. Um, it looks like it's some flashing. There's a very strange, very strange tie-in up there, as you'll see. Um, and I think it's the flashing that's doing it. But I'll bring you along for the ride. This drone is a new addition to my arsenal, and it's a pretty handy little tool. For those of you wondering, it's a DJI Mini 3 Pro. And it's pretty simple to just send this thing up there, uh, get an overview of how the roof looks, and have a, a sort of an idea of what I'm getting into, what type of supplies I need to get, and if there's anything obvious. The roof is not very old, and overall it looks pretty good. Um, this roof tie-in is a little bit strange. The leak is not coming from this side, it's actually the other side of this little roof jut out, but the flashing's not great on this either. They lapped it incorrectly, and they didn't put any cement or silicone on the nail holes. So I will be doing that. The chimney flashing actually looks pretty good. Usually the chimneys are problems. So this is the side that the leak is coming from. As you can see, there's two pipe penetrations and this flashing that's all messed up. Some of the nails are popping. They need to be filled. I'm going to grab a bucket of roof cement, some fiber cloth, a couple pipe boots, some silicone, and that should be all I need for this fix. I'll throw a little bit on this chimney on the back side, and that should fix that. The only tools I'll need for this is a hammer, a putty knife, a caulk gun, and a flat bar. And in his first video appearance, this is my buddy and business partner Joe. I actually had some other repairs to do inside of this house, so he climbed up the ladder and took care of this for me. As they say, teamwork makes the dream work. But anyway, it was a nice day to work on the roof, but if you didn't know, you can actually apply this cement in the rain. It can be wet, it can be cold, it can be dry, it can be hot. You can apply this in any weather. And one thing to note while you're watching this is roof cement is not a permanent fix. This is just a temporary fix. Uh, uh, roof cement will last for a couple of years maybe, and then the sun will uh, dry it out and crack. So what Joe is doing here is he's just putting the cement on any area that could potentially be an issue. Um, so he's putting it around the pipe boots in case water is getting down there. He's putting it right now underneath these shingles if there's a a strong driving rain it could get up underneath these shingles um as you'll see he's going to put it on the nail holes there on the flashing and along the whole edge of the flashing since it's bent up if you have any shingles that are lifting up it's a good idea to throw a little bit of this under it and push it down to hold it down when you get a rainstorm with strong winds it can, it can blow sideways and get into places where it normally wouldn't otherwise. As you can see in the background there, the drone has been sent up to make another voyage. Uh, I sent it up to get some sick angles of the roof and to see what else Joe is doing here. So grab your popcorn and sit back and enjoy the footage.
Welcome back to the roof. I hope you all enjoyed that drone footage. Uh, here Joe is moving on from the flashing to a pipe. Um, this is a ventilation pipe. The pipe boot looks pretty good. Uh, so he's just sealing sealing the top and where the shingles meet it as long as well as the flap that comes up. This cement is cheap so don't be afraid to put a lot on it and make it good and sloppy. Now Joe has moved on to where the roof is tied into this other part of the roof. Um, this is actually where we think the leak is coming from. Well, this spot or the flashing that he was doing. I don't think the pipes were actually the issue, but it doesn't hurt to put this stuff on anyways. Like I said at the beginning of this video, this is just a temporary solution. Uh, what actually needs to happen is the summer or spring is to come up here and either put new flashing on here or some rubber or whatever whatever we deem needs to be done. You want to be very proactive when it comes to roof leaks and you need to hop on it right away and fix it by whatever means necessary. If you let it go it can ruin sheetrock, it can create mold issues, it can rot wood, and there's a whole host of other issues. And besides all of that you'll make your tenant happy and you know what they say. A happy tenant is a good tenant. Or sometimes it is. And that's going to wrap up the video for today. If you like drones, roof cement, and like seeing Joe out here, give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel.